Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Summer and I'm a waxaholic. And today I've got a really fun video to share with you guys. So Ashley Overly tagged me in a fall favorites, like wax fall favorites video. And like, what a fun idea. So I was watching her video and all of the fun scents that she picked out and I was so excited that she tagged me. And so I just immediately started thinking like, you know, what are the things I'm most excited to warm? What are some of my favorites from the past? You know, what am I looking forward to melting? And um, today I had it all planned out. I was gonna wear like a really fun fall sweatshirt. And wouldn't you know it, it's 96 degrees today. So um, it cooled off in the 80s the last like week or so. And then I went to Philly and Philly was so nice. It was like 60s, 70s. And then I come back to Alabama and it's 95, 96. And like we about roasted to death. Last Saturday, Carter had a soccer game at like one in the heat of the day. We were all just like dying. There's no shade up there. It was just, um, you know, it, it felt like August again. So I don't know what's going on with this weather. I was so in the mood and I still am in the mood for fall and to start melting fall. It started cooling off. I was so excited. And wouldn't you know it, it's like second summer all over again. So um, I'm in short sleeves today because if not, I would literally be dying. So, forgive me, I want it to be all fall-like, but an autumnal, but you know, it is what it is, so hopefully this is okay. But just know, I'm so ready for it to not be 96 degrees outside, so hopefully it's cooler where you are. So, I don't really know that there's any like specific questions or like specific like format that this is supposed to go into, but um, this is going to be a long video. I pulled a lot of stuff from a lot of different vendors and I know I'm missing some. I've, I've been pulling stuff in like a, to like do a fall melting basket because I've been so psyched for fall. Uh, and I've got like one of those handled like laundry baskets. It's completely full. And now I have an overflow box for like fall scents that I wanna melt. So I went through those only to like pull these scents. So I know I'm probably missing some staples. And then of course I've melted through some and I've got wax from Pre-Order Palooza coming in. So I've got a lot of favorites that I've just ran out of that I'm not gonna include in this video if I don't have them like in my collection. So just know this is not an all-inclusive list. I know I'm forgetting things, but it's the best I could do with what I have right now going through my like huge fall melting basket. So stay tuned for that as well for October and November. I'm gonna have way too much wax to get through, but I was so excited and just pulled all the things. So without further ado, I'm gonna try to go through by like vendor, I think will be the, probably the easiest way. Some I've got more of, some I have less of, just simply because it's my collection or I don't have a lot of like just fall scents. I'm not gonna try to like smell all of these things. I may smell a few because I just can't resist, but I'm really gonna try to just like tell you what the vendor is, tell you what the blend is in the notes and go from there. Um, I think I'm gonna start with Scentsy just because, and they should go fast because they don't have the notes on there, but all of these are gonna be, or most of these are gonna be new that I've never warmed before, but these are just like what I'm looking forward to warming in the fall. So um, the first one is Cinnamon Pine Cones, and this is such a pretty scent. I've really been into like roasted pine cones, just anything pine cones. I feel like it's tree without being like Christmas tree like that you know it's just kind of a more mellowed out tree and more of a more warm like earthy I love pine cones like I just want everything with pine cones right now next is blueberry cheesecake I really love warming blueberry I mean of course you you're gonna have a lot of apples and pumpkins in here but I really love to do berries like blueberry plum currant those types of scents more in the fall. I really like to do coffee more in the fall because I feel like I need more coffee in the fall. Not that you have to like melt certain things only in the fall, but I just tend to like want to melt more blueberry coffee, of course, apple pumpkin, Palo Santo, cashmere, boardwalk marshmallow clouds, those cozy like warm scents I like to do in the fall. Next is black currant and plum. And then this one is from the Villains Collection. It's called Just One Bite, and it's like a spicy apple, and I really like it. My son is so cute. He was smelling all of my Scentsy. I just filmed my Scentsy haul today, 
and he was like, oh, this smells good. It smells like cheese. And I'm like, cheese? He loves cheese, but still, I just thought it was so funny that he was like, oh, this smells great. It smells like cheese. Just cracks me up. That was one of the ones. He said it smells like apple with cheese. I don't know if he's meaning like cheesecake or what, but he's five and just, you know, I didn't correct him or didn't ask, but it was just cracking me up how he said that they smell like cheese. Anyway, back to the wax. This next one is Autumn Road Trip. I really want to smell this one because this one, y'all, this smells so good. It just smells like a crisp fall day. It's just, I love that one. Next, Midnight Mahogany. I love this one as well. Then Around the Campfire. That's another like note I really like. Smoky, like roasted pine cones, you know, Marshmallow Fireside, smoky like type scents like that I love in the fall. And then the last Scentsy Bar I pulled is called Forever Fall. And those are just really, I'm so looking forward to warming these and getting familiar with some Scentsy and not just vendor wax all the time. Okay, so next vendor I wanna talk about is Lavender and Speckles. Y'all know if you watch my channel, Lavender and Speckles, Beth is just a doll and her wax is amazing powerhouse like super strong throwers just i love lavender and speckles so i pulled a few that i'm so excited about so the first one no surprise donut shop in palo santo like i feel like i've just talked about this one and talked about it so much but it deserves its moment it deserves every moment because it's just fantastic it's so good it's cinnamon sugar donuts with Palo Santo wood. Best Palo Santo is my favorite out there. It's just the best, in my opinion. It's more of an earthy, woodsy, like smooth vibe and less cologne-y. It's, it's amazing. You could literally throw it in. I promise you could throw it in with anything and it would just amplify it and make it smell so much better. And um, I was really shocked when I first smelled this like last year. And I think I tried her wax in like November of 22 for the first time. And I've literally, I don't think I've missed a release because it's just, I'm in love with her wax. But I tried this very early on in my lavender and speckles journey. And I was shocked because I don't really care for cinnamon sugar donuts. Like that note's never really spoken to me as like a favorite or anything. But this blend of the two, I mean, y'all have heard it before. It's amazing. If you've never tried it, I highly recommend. If you could only get one scent from Best Shop, I would recommend this one. It's that good. I know she did customs for a while before she got like super busy. And I ordered, I think, 15 bags of this. And it's I order it every time she offers it because I never, ever want to run out of it. It's that good. Next up is another favorite. It's a Speckles birthday cake. And this has got the wrong scent notes on it. So I will put the scent notes here on the screen. But basically it's a birthday cake and bakery with a lot of Palo Santo because best Palo Santo is the best. So I love it. And that blend is just like phenomenal. It's a really close second to Donut Shop and Palo Santo. Please go try it. Next up is a new favorite. This is Honey Pear Cotton Candy Zucchini Bread. Spiced Honey Pears blended with Cotton Candy and Sweet Zucchini Bread. I have really fallen in love with Spiced Honey Pear. Like, where have I been hiding? Because I know this is not a new oil. But, like, just give me all the blends with Spiced Honey Pear. And, I mean, pair this with a little sweet cotton candy, bready zucchini bread. Like, this blend is so good. So, if you like Honey Spiced Pear, you should try this one. Next up is Sleeping with the Zucchinis. This is from the Gilmore Girls Collection. Rich zucchini bread blended with red delicious apples, nutmeg, spice, and vanilla butter fudge. I have to smell this one. I really like apples with zucchini bread. I mean, I really like anything with zucchini bread. But you guys, this is just like a spicy apple zucchini bread. Perfect for fall. So good. Next up, we have Blue Sugar Beach Nights Marshmallow Fireside. So, Beach Nights, I melt it year-round, especially blends like this with Blue Sugar, which I'm really, really loving. And then Marshmallow Fireside just gives it like a fall vibe. It's just a warm Beach Nights. And her Blue Sugar doesn't lean super cologne -y. It's kind of like her Palo Santo. It's just like an earthy, fresh almost vibe, but this is so good. 
And then last from Lavender and Speckles is Coffee, 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 which is my favorite coffee blend from her shop. This is also from the Gilmore Girls Collection. Strong espresso with a sweetness of buttercream and funnel cake bakery goodness. So y'all, this smells good on cold, but when you warm it, you get the espresso. It smells like a coffee shop, but with specifically like a bakery with a coffee shop. It's just a lot of sweet bakery. Then you get the cinnamony funnel cake with the sweet buttercream and the espresso. It's just, it's really good. It's so, so good, you guys. I highly recommend you try this one. I'm always getting wax up my nose. I'm the worst. Okay. Y'all are used to it by now, I'm sure. Okay, next up, let's do Knowles Farm Scents. I feel like Travis's wax, like I love it, but like his fall scents are like, they just hit different. I don't know, they're so good. So first up, I pulled the good stuff, sugar cookie dough bread and Palo Santo. His sugar cookie dough bread is so amazing. I love that scent so much. It's so, so good. So you can mix it with anything and I'm going to love it. But you know, Palo Santo, I love to melt Palo Santo in the fall. And this is so good. It's like sweet bakery with Palo Santo. Like, does it get any better? This is amazing and I love it. Next up is kind of a wild card, or it was, but I love it. This is Fall Brunch, Peach, Pear, Whipped Vanilla, Candied Praline, and Sugar Cone. So I hate peach, you guys know that, and I just don't really care for it. But this blend, the peach and the pear together, just give it a little sweet and spice. I wonder if this is the honey spice pear because it kind of gives me those vibes, but this smells so good. This smells just like your quintessential fall scent. It's amazing. Next is Treats by the Fireplace. I love this one. Sugar Cookie Royale, Sweet Bakery Dough, Zucchini Bread, and By the Fireplace. So this is just going to be Smoky Bakery. Yeah, it's just the perfect amount of smoky. It's so good. The by the fireplace, like I could just do that on its own. It smells so good. This is this is a must. And then lastly from Knowles Farm is Simply Delightful. Strawberry pound cake, warm vanilla sugar, Palo Santo, and waffle cone. Like I know it's strawberry pound cake, which doesn't really scream fall, but when you smell this, it kind of will just give me like it's like fall strawberry body care. I don't know. It just this is beautiful. It's warm strawberry and it smells amazing and I think it's the perfect scent for fall. So that's everything from Knowles Farm. Okay, next I have one from L3. This is a scoopable pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar cookie royale, and zucchini bread. Love this. So zucchini bread and sugar cookie royale is one of my favorite combos. Then you add pumpkin pecan waffles and it's just like fall. So, so good. This throws so well. I love L3 scoopables. I feel like they're so strong for like four to six hours, but like when you just want a super quick, strong thrower, so good. And they have my favorite sugar cookie royale, I think. So good. Next, I have one from Britta's, um, Cookies Under the Tree, which sounds like a Christmas scent, but the notes are sugar cookie, roasted pine cones, and sugar cookie dough. And to me, roasted pine cones is more of a fall scent. I think it can be either. It's year round for me because I'm obsessed. Britta's has an amazing roasted pine cones oil. This smells so good. Roasted pine cones and bakery, like say less. This is amazing. If you're not really a big fan of tree scents, like Chris, I'm talking to you. <laughs> I think that you would really like the roasted pine cones note because you get a little bit of tree, but it's not super strong. Like, you know, I don't know. You know how tree scents can be like super overpowering. This one is a more like the quiet cousin. I love British roasted pine cones oil. I just did a haul in Kim's special eggnog. It's roasted pine cones, eggnog, and something else, maybe like sugar cookies. Y'all, that blend is where it's at. I would have included it if it didn't have the eggnog. So let's do Southbound. So the first one I have is Pumpkin Pie Cookie Jar. Pumpkin Pie, Super Sugar Cookies, Frosted Sugar Cookies, Sugar Cookie Dough, and Vanilla Shortbread Cookies. Basically, Pumpkin Pie and all the cookies.
yeah, it's it's really rich. And decadent pumpkin and bakery. It's so pretty. And then I can't mention Southbound without mentioning Lavender Cream Puffs. I feel like I talk about this nonstop, but it's just worth it and it deserves it. Such an incredible blend. Like this is year round anytime, but like I'm going to melt it. I'm going to melt the heck out of it because Southbound's doing a pre-order now and I ordered a few loaves of this. So lavender, buttery pastry dough, creamy vanilla custard, sweet cream and confectioner sugar. This is just sweet lavender with bakery and it is phenomenal. Like if you like lavender bakery, go try this. It's so good. Okay, next up is salt melt and melt. So I pulled two cents. The first one is, I never know how to pronounce this, you guys. It's a Danish word. Somebody told me in my last video, but um, it's cashmere cedar, sugar cookie, and marshmallow fireside. I forgot how to pronounce it, but it's not like it's spelled. But anyway, this is a recent purchase for me. I love it. It's so good on warm. It kind of smells like a perfume I've smelled before. It's a little smoky. Like the cashmere cedar kind of gives it, I think, that perfumey vibe. It's so good, you guys. It's, you've got that cashmere cedar, so it's like a creamy tree with a little bit of marshmallow fireside and then the bakery of the sugar cookie. It's really good on cold, but it just opens up and performs really well in my home when you warm it. And then the other one is Coven. Y'all, I would literally get loaves of this, like multiple loaves of this scent. It is such a good one. Marshmallow Fireside, Palo Santo, and Powdered Donut. So if you've never tried Coven and you see it, get it. This is so, so good. So Marshmallow Fireside and Palo Santo blend really beautifully. And then you get the bready donut with that bakery in there. Like just, this is, this is a favorite. This is like everyone's favorite and I can totally see why it's so good. Amazing scent. All right, let's do Sassy Girl Aroma next. Okay, first up is Oath. I love Oath. It's Beach Nights with Roasted Pine Cone, Smoked Vanilla Sugar Cookie, and Marshmallow. You're probably not even going to be able to see that because the font's so small. This scent is a favorite. I literally warm it year-round, but I love it in the fall, especially because of the Roasted Pine Cone. It's beautiful. Please go try it. Next, from Sassy Girl, I pulled Five Little Pumpkins. Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Sugar Cookie, which sounds so basic, but it's so good. It's a creamy pumpkin pecan waffle. It's beautiful. It's so good on warm. I love this scent. Next up is Black Hood. Love this one. A woodsy and sweet smoky vanilla scent. So this is like perfect for fall. It's kind of cologne a little bit, but the smoked vanilla is just a vibe, and I love it. Sweet and smoky vanilla. It's beautiful. If you've never tried this one, don't be scared of it. It's really good. I love it, and you guys know I'm typically not a cologne type person, but it's just like a creamy, sweet, smoky, a little bit spicy even vanilla. It's, it's really good. Sorry about that abrupt cut, but my daughter just woke up, so I had to run in there and grab her. Okay, but next from Sassy Girl is chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Hint of marshmallow and campfire with sweet chestnuts and brown sugar. I really love chestnuts. Like that note is so pretty. I feel like roasted anything I'm just going to like. It just gives it a little bit of warmth. And this is just a really good, you know, literal chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Love it. And then lastly, I pulled Marie, which is another Beach Nights blend. So this is Beach Nights with whipped cream, vanilla, marshmallow, meringue, sandalwood, and white magnolia. It's just like a warm, creamy, cozy Beach Nights. Like those added, like the whipped cream, the vanilla, the sandalwood, just gives it like a body care vibe. So if Beach Nights were like a body care, this would be it. And it smells so good. So you should definitely try this if you see it. It's a perfect like fall Beach Nights. So next up, I have two from Dess's. So the first one is actually a blend I submitted and it won like the most votes or something last, was it last year? Or maybe earlier this year. It's Royal Strawberry Apollo Cookies, 
sugar cookies, Palo Santo, and strawberry pound cake. And you guys know if you've watched my videos, sometimes I struggle getting guesses to throw. And a lot of people have mentioned I should try tea lights, which I just don't feel comfortable with in my home. I have two small children and I'm just scared they're going to knock it over or I'll forget to like blow it out. And I just, you know, it gives me anxiety. So I did get one of the Julian home warmers. So I'm going to try it in there. But anyway, I said all that to say this is one of the scents and also the other one I'm going to mention. When I put them in just like my Happy Wax or my Scentsy Warmers, it throws really well. So I think it may be just bakery with Dessas, which y'all know that's what I tend to order the most of. But these two scents perform really well for me. The next one I pulled is Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire. Chestnuts, Brown Sugar, Sugar Cookies, and Marshmallow Fireside. I first tried this one last year in her advent calendar. And like, I feel like it was everybody's favorite because everyone requested it and she poured it. She's poured it quite a bit, but y'all, it is so good. It's just a warm, nutty marshmallow fireside bakery. It's so, so good. Love it. And it performs super well. Okay. Next, I have quite a few from Rose Girls. So first up is apple fritter donut holes. Y'all know I love her apple fritter. Jenny from Rose Girls, her apple fritter is my favorite. It's like flaky pastry, apple, and like sweet sugary cinnamon. It's, it's so good. If you haven't tried her apple fritter, you should try it if you like apple. A lot of these are apple. Yeah, here's apple fritter cookie land, which is like toffee, pretzels, just like bakery heavy with apple fritter. So good. Here's another one with apple fritter, flannels and leggings, which if you've watched my videos, you know this is one of my favorites. This is apple fritter, honey, cornbread, and chai lattes. So good. I ordered a couple of extra bags of this because I feel like I'm just going to warm it all the time because it has some of my favorite notes blended together. It's just perfection. Next, we have Salem, pumpkin pecan waffles, campfire marshmallow, and vanilla sandalwood. This one is just really good. It's kind of like a another one of those, like a pumpkin pecan waffles with body care. It's a warm, creamy, little bit of campfire pumpkin pecan waffles. This is so good. I love it so much. Okay, so this is going to be take number three. I've tried all day to film this video or to finish this video. So now it's like late at night. My kids are sleeping, so I should have no more distractions or interruptions. So I'm really sorry if this video is just like all over the place, but I think we left off with this one. Um, my son came in here, so I'm not sure if I'm going to edit that out or not, but he is so cute. He loves to smell wax with me. He's so adorable. So next from Rose Girls, I have Carbs with Girlfriends, which Carbs is Dunk My Donut, Royal Sugar Cookie, and Freshly Baked Bread, I believe. And then Girlfriends is like oatmeal cookies. And I can't remember what else. It's like spicy. It's like perfect for fall. So the two blended together is just a fall favorite for a lot of people, including me. I love it. Then lastly from Rose Girls, Booze Spooky Castle. And this is not like your typical, you know, pumpkin apple. This is a berry. It's blueberry cereal, which is like blueberry based, I believe. And then mixed with vanilla crunch donuts and monster cookies. I first tried this blend in her, I think it was her Halloween sampler last year. Was that the first time I got it? Anyway, like, I like Boo Berry, like, it's okay, and I was kind of taking a break from cereal scents, but it was like a blue ghost shape, and I smelled it, and I was just like, must have more. It's just really good berry bakery, and I don't know, the way she blends this, I'm a big fan of Monster Cookies, and I'm a big fan of her Vanilla Crunch Donut, and so this blend is just really, really good. If you like Berry Bakery, highly recommend Boost Spooky Castle. So that's everything from Rose Girls. So now we're going to move on to my favorites. I think this is the last, yep, last vendor. This is Teddy B's. Um, let's see. I have, 
I pulled out a whole bunch, but then I decided I'm going to wait and do that as like winter because a lot of the Game of Thrones type scents have her vanilla balsam in it. That's like one of my favorite notes from Teddy Bees. I feel like anything with that note in it, I'm going to like it. And so I put a few back um, and just tried to stick with, with more like fall, -it, like typical fall type lens from her. I could literally, I mean, Teddy Bees, I feel like just shines in fall and winter blends or your like typical fall and winter blends. So I could have picked so many more, but I just picked a few. There's seven here. So first let's start with Whipstaff Manor. I feel like this was a favorite of everyone this year. And then it was a little like bummer when for the last pre-order, she couldn't get one of the oils for this blend. And I saw she posted in the Facebook group and said that the oil that she couldn't get before has came back in stock and she bought all that she could. And then a different oil that she uses in this is out of stock now. So hopefully we'll be able to get this blend again, maybe in January, or maybe she'll be able to pour some for the RTS at the end of the year. But anyway, this is really good. This is crisp fall air, cedar wood, crunchy leaves, hints of apples and fall spice, toasted marshmallows and charred pumpkin. And this is one I didn't pick up in the pre-order. I got it in the RTS and I wanted to just get a tub of it, but I got cart jacked. And so I ended up just getting a loaf and I'm so glad I did. Cause this, first of all, it's gorgeous. And second of all, this is just perfection. Like there's a lot going on. There's a lot of notes in it. Fall air, cedar wood, leaves, apples, spice, marshmallows, and pumpkin. Like it's got all of the fall necessities. This is just a vibe and it's so good. It's so like, what's the word? I always say sophisticated, but there's so much depth in this sense. Like there's just like layers of fall goodness and it's just, it's just amazing. All right, next I chose Late Night Bake, Sweet Lavender, Sugar Cookies, Pink Sugar, and a Background of Palo Santo. Tiffany's Palo Santo is a close second to me um, behind Lavender and Speckles. Tiffany's Palo is beautiful. I feel like it's like the same vibes as Lavender and Speckles, but her lavender is like one, if not my favorite from any vendor. It's just really good. So something about this late night bake, I can't get it to pop out because it's like stuck. Oh, there it goes. Whew. Um, something about this blend, like the notes are totally different, but something about this blend is giving me lavender cream puffs, southbound lavender cream puffs vibes. It smells so good. I want to say, do they use the same lavender? I don't know, but I'm going to smell them side by side. You guys know I love doing this. It's really similar. That is so crazy. Like they're so, so similar. This one's just lavender bakery and this one's lavender sugar cookies, pink sugar and Palo Santo. You can definitely tell this one's heavier on the bakery, but the lavender note is just like so similar. If you have lavender cream puffs from Southbound and you have Teddy B's late night bake, Smell them together, like side by side, one after another, and let me know if you guys think that they're similar, because I feel like they are very similar. Okay, next I chose Boudoir, which is Pink Sugar, Palo Santo, and Sugar Cookies. So again, this is really similar to this one, except there's no lavender in here, and I feel like there's more Palo. The Late Night Bake just has a background of Palo, and I feel like there's more in this one. Something about this is giving me like a hint of cinnamon, I think, or, or like nutmeg. There's some sort of a little bit of spice in here is what I'm getting. There's not a note of it, but pink sugar, polo, and sugar cookies. Maybe there's something in the sugar cookies, but I get a little bit of like sweet cinnamon. 
but this is so good. I love this scent so much. I just got it for the first time this year and I got an extra tub of it in the RTS, I believe, or maybe in a D-stash, but I'm obsessed. So next up is the Three-Eyed Raven. This is Palo Santo, Sweet Lavender, Vanilla Birch, Marshmallow Fireside, and Cold Air. I love this scent. This is so good. And again, it's got some of the same notes. Palo Santo, Lavender, and there's like a theme here, but these are just some of my favorites, like staples, and like that is just gorgeous. This is so good. Like again, her Lavender is amazing. Love her Palo. The Vanilla Birch and Marshmallow Fireside just add a little more earthiness, woodsy, like outdoorsy. It's just so good. If you like lavender, go try Teddy B's if you haven't already. I'm sure everybody has. This scent, this is a favorite for sure. Anytime, but especially in the fall. Okay, and I have three souffles. The first one is called His. Blue Sugar, Marshmallow Fireside, and Palo Santo. I've had hers, and it's pink sugar, but blue sugar is like growing on me. And use, I used to think that it was too like cologne-y and I thought it would give me a headache. But again, mixed with, this is Palo Santo and then the Marshmallow Fireside. And I love it mixed with bakery also. But with Tiffany, y'all know, like you can, she can take stuff that I normally wouldn't like and just make it beautiful. It doesn't really smell cologne to me. I mean, I can see where you might get that vibe a little bit, but it's not like headache inducing. It's like a warm, creamy scent, and it's really, really good. Like, the Marshmallow Fireside tones down the blue sugar quite a bit, and the Palo Santo as well, and just smooths and blends it together, and it's just really good. If you're scared because of the blue sugar, don't be. It's really, really pretty. And then my last fall favorite from Teddy B's and period is Fireside Marshmallows. Toasted marshmallows, smoldering woods, and rich vanilla cream. This scent, like, I really, I got it as a sample, and I think last year. And it smells good. It smells like, you know, marshmallow, fireside, vanilla, and like a woodsy note. You get all the notes, but it smelled really light to me. And it smells, I mean, it doesn't smell super strong now. And this was poured last September, September 23rd, 22. So it's a year old, which to me is a perfect time to melt Teddy Bee's lighter scents, especially like bakery or any lighter scents. But when I melted it, you guys, it smelled so good. And it threw really well to be such a light scent on cold. Um, and it's just like, it smells like marshmallow fireside from Bath and Body Works to me. Just creamy marshmallows with that little bit of smoky and so i really love this i love it for fall it's a perfect like setting the ambiance for fall it's just a really pretty like outdoorsy fall scent so that is all of my fall favorites that i currently have in my collection i know this is probably a super long crazy video especially because i had to cut it so many times and you know, splice different takes together. But um, thank you if you've made it this far. Thanks for sticking with me. And I appreciate you watching. So now I'm supposed to tag, I guess, three people. That's normally how we do it. So um, this is a fun part. Let me see. I haven't even thought about this beforehand. I probably should have. I'd like to tag Tara from Tara's Fragranced World. I'd like to tag... Christine from Christine's Scent Scene, and I'd like to tag Charity, Charity Rose. And ladies, I'm really looking forward. I hope that you will do this tag and share your fall favorites, and I'm looking forward to watching your videos. And Ashley, thank you again for tagging me. I really enjoyed watching her video. So I will leave everybody that I just mentioned in the channel's mentioned portion in the description box down below. So check it out to check out some new channels or maybe some old favorite channels. And um, thank you so much for watching. I will let you guys go because you've you stuck with me long enough. So thank you guys again. Hope you have a wonderful day, week, or weekend. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on my next video very soon. Bye.